Folks, when I said on this year's non league to legend, I would be visiting every club I manage in the save in person. I was not messing around, so don't worry about the fact that it's only a week before Christmas. It's so cold that it's the middle of the afternoon and there's still ice on the ground and Preston is in the far north, many miles away from where I live. That behind me is Preston bus station. Somewhere around here, there is a football ground. I'm gonna go and find it and watch Preston versus QPR. Now, although I've never been to Preston before in my life, I have been to enough football grounds in enough cities over the years to be able to do this kind of by feel. There's groups of men in big coats and woolly hats, all heading in the same direction. So we're basically just gonna follow them and assume we're gonna end up in roughly the right part of town. I just was high up over there on top of the car park, looked this way, I know the ground's in this direction, I can see it, but from down here at street level, I cannot see it. But I think I am heading in the right direction. It is so icy though. If I make it through this video without falling on my backside, that deserves a thumbs up, I think. I see tops of stadium and floodlights, both very strong indications that I'm heading in the right direction. Plus, that's called Deepdale Pavilions. Again, an indication that I am probably heading the right way. I think we're gonna make it. We do have another challenge when we get there because I ordered my ticket about a week and a half ago to be delivered to me at home. And then of course there's been postal strikes and stuff. So my ticket hasn't arrived. I have contacted the club. They've said I should be able to just pop down to the ticket office and collect a ticket. I do have the slight concern that obviously I'm wandering in here with a Southern accent when they're playing against a team from the South, trying to get a ticket in the home end. Do I do an impression of a Northerner when I go and pick up my ticket? Or do I run the risk of having to explain what I'm actually doing here? It'll be fine. Well, we made it. Ticket collected with no problems at all. Just a bit of a queue because lots of people have had the same problems with the whole postal strike thing. But I think next stop probably has to be the club shop. I've already got my shirt and my pins at home. I wonder if they've got a club tie in there for me though. We need to go and investigate the situation. Well, we've got loads of badges. Inexplicable strap, wallets. No tie though, it seems. That's what we call a roaring success over behind the counter. Good job I queued up. I was gonna just buy any old thing, just so I could buy a thing and I saw the ties dangling behind the counter. So we have a tie. That's the result now, I've got to work out where I go to get in. I'm also quite hungry. I haven't had one of these butter pies people keep telling me about on Twitter yet either. Got to admit, and I'll say it quietly so the locals don't attack me. I don't really like the sound of it. It sounds like mashed potato in a pie. But we'll see if we can locate one of those before the day is done. Well, we are in, well, half in. I was very thrown by there not being a little man on the turnstile like we have at Peterborough, but we have made it in. I think I'm up this way. I'm not seeing anywhere that looks like a pie, which I think might be a blessing in disguise. I could get a contactless beer if I wanted one though. That's me. Oh, 
surprisingly good. I made it about halfway through. I think that's a good effort. It's very rich. If I eat all of that, I'm not going to have a, a fun journey back later, I don't think. It tasted good though. sent here from the non-league to legend future where Preston can't buy a goal and I've been sent back here to witness where it all began there just seems to be very little threat at all QPR have had comfortably the better of the chances they hit the post about 15 minutes in uh, they've had four or five occasions where they've just been allowed to romp unchallenged into the Preston penalty area quite frankly I don't know how it's still nil-nil as far as scouting Preston players go, the best player on the pitch seems to be Fernandez at left wing back, who in the non-league to legend universe is long gone, having returned to Manchester United and then gone who knows where from there. Um, ben Whiteman sat in front of the back four, looks quite tidy, just keeping things ticking over. Um, we'll make a note of him and Ben Woodburn um, does seem to run around a lot, although he doesn't really seem to offer any kind of end product or threat. It is quite interesting that probably the two best players who are here, who are still here when I take over in about four seasons time are both called Ben, suggesting that this universe is a completely opposite universe to the one where Football Manager content creation happens, because in this universe, being called Ben makes you quite good. Who knew? Um, I'm continuing to enjoy my fan out. I will head back in. I'm not sure if I'll be able to vlog anything in the second half, partly for two reasons, really. Reason number one, I fully expect nothing to happen. Nothing happened in the first half. Uh, reason number two, I am completely surrounded where I am by people just trying to enjoy the football. And I don't necessarily want to point a camera in their face. It's much harder vlogging at an unfamiliar ground when I am absolutely packed in on all sides with people. Should have thought this through before getting started on this series. We'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Maybe I need to bring some people with me so I can surround myself with people as a bit of a buffer. We'll come up with a plan, but it's still nil-nil at half time. Fingers crossed we do get to see a goal in the second half, although it is worth bearing in mind that when I went to Peterborough Sports, Peterborough Sports were not victorious. Maybe this non to legend in real life series is cursed. Let's hope it's not cursed. the final couple of clips that I recorded didn't have any audio on. I've just, I'm sat in a service station right now. I've just had a message from Chris telling me exactly that and the video is due out today. So this is just me saying goodbye. I'm not quite sure what I missed out on those final two clips. I think I did a bit of a sum up of the match, uh, which ultimately was a disaster. <laughs> um, and uh, you don't need a longer sum up than that. The, I enjoyed my day in Preston. I did not enjoy sitting in the cold watching them never look like scoring for a million years, although I do suspect that that might be a little bit of a sign of what's to come on the uh, on the YouTube series because that team also doesn't seem to score very many goals. I'm sure it'll be fine. That'll be back tomorrow. I now need to drive the rest of the way home. Thanks for watching, folks. Toodle pip. Bye-bye.